I use pink Himalayan salt, but not because it's healthier. <laughs> when I was growing up, Himalayan salt wasn't even a thing. Um, I remember always putting the salt and pepper shakers on the table when I was setting it, but um, nobody ever used them when we were um, on, our, on our food. I guess un unless we had some company. And one particular evening, my mom had invited um, a friend of mine over for dinner, and before she even t tasted the food, she's got the salt shaker, <sighs> putting it all over her food. You haven't even tasted it. And she said, I know, I always salt my food. Three weeks later, I was at her home. Her mom had invited me over for dinner and I took a bite of food and then I realized, oh my gosh, no wonder my friend always salted her food. Um, not that her mom was a bad cook, but it just didn't have a whole lot of flavor. And that's when I really realized like, oh my gosh, my mom was an exceptional cook. I was really spoiled. Um, and it wasn't until I was in adulthood I, when I, I would, you know, I was cooking and I would use salt in, in, in um, cooking and so forth. but. It wasn't until I won a big, huge food gift basket at um, a silent auction. It was one of those artisan food baskets, and it had all sorts of things in there, specialty vinegars and seasonings, and, and it had Himalayan pink salt. And that's when I started using it. What I like about it is that it's pretty. It's kind of wonderful, pretty color. And you know, the reason it does is because it does have, um, it's got a number of different minerals in there and that's what gives it its pink color. Um, and I also thought it tasted better. <laughs> in a blind taste test, I probably wouldn't notice the difference, but you know, it's like how you, um, what you put on food or how food is presented, you know, often can make it taste better. Um, not that you really could see the salt on there after you put it on there. As a dietitian, um, many have asked me over the years about different, you know, sea salt and Himalayan pink salt. There are certainly many claims, specifically for eating um, salt and the, you know, using that versus um, just like, you know, table salt. Um, so some of the things I would see, it, it regulates blood sugar, it aids digestion, um, it balances our pH, um, it supports our hormone balance, um, helps with weight loss, <laughs> and uh, lowers blood pressure because it's absorbed differently into our bloodstream. Uh, first, let's talk about salt. Um, people often use the word salt and sodium interchangeably, when in fact salt is actually a combination of two minerals, sodium and chloride. Um, and all salts, no matter what, what type, um, is going to be a combination of those two minerals. Now, the one thing that I do see that actually is true is that um, it helps balance or helps with the electrolytes. Well, yeah, because sodium and chloride are two of the most common electrolytes, so, but any salt is going to do that um, for you. Now, table salt, yes, it is more processed, and all the minerals um, except sodium and chloride are removed in the processing of it, and then sometimes some anti-caking agents might be added to it. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's really more the quantity that we consume. Himalayan pink salt is um, mined primarily from a certain region of Pakistan, and there's an impression that it is more natural. Um, because there's not as much processing of it. So yes, pink salt does have more minerals in it, but it's such a minute quantity, so tiny that it really has no benefit to it. You'd be much better off using um, eating a, a nutrient rich diet with fruits and vegetables and whole grains. What a lot of people don't realize is that the majority of sodium in our diet does not come from what we add in cooking and at the table. 70% of it actually comes from the food that is packaged, prepackaged, processed, or what we might buy at a restaurant or fast food or get takeout. All of those, 70%, that's quite a lot. Um, about 14% is naturally occurring in food, and about 11% is what we might add at the table um, and or in cooking. Um, like 6% we might add in cooking, and 5% we might um, add um, actually at the table. So if you're using Himalayan salt thinking that you're getting loads of health benefits, I'd save your money and just buy some other um, inexpensive salt. But by all means, if you like it, go ahead and, and use it. Like I use it. I mean, I like the way it tastes. I like that it's pretty. And, uh, and I also like it because I love to grind it onto my food. Yeah, that's why. Not at, for any health benefit, simply because I like to grind my salt onto my food. Bottom line, <laughs> make sure you watch this playlist and uh, that I put together for you. And uh, thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. It's hot out there, isn't it? Lex was bathing in the sun. He never closed the door. He can open it. He just can't close it. All right, where was I?